nearly five to eight now here on BBC WM. And I mentioned this man um, a little bit earlier this morning. Um, basically, um, the man we're about to speak to, he's, you know, he's a man of the cloth, but now in his spare time, he's developed a bit of a sideline. Uh, Reverend Vic Van de Berg is his name, and he's from St Francis Layfield in Tamworth. Has an electrical background, decided that because of that, one way he may be able to help his community, aside from obviously his important role in the community as a vicar, was to give the local people free, yes, free electrical repairs. Uh, I'm, I just want to speak to him to find out a bit more about this now. Um, Vic, good morning to you. Good morning. This is this is absolutely fascinating. And I was just actually looking um, from the Church Times, um, I think it's headline, Cler- Clerical Sparky to offer free repair service. I love the way they write these things, you know. <laughs> so where did this all this idea all come from? Well, it's not a new idea. Um, Restart Party started in June 2012. Mm-hmm. And uh, by uh, October 2013, they were from the US to northern Italy, and now they're everywhere. And uh, it's it's just a, a really excellent thing. It's a great thing for the church to be doing. So explain, how does it work with these restart parties? Does people bring along sort of like broken bits and bobs to sort of for you to kind of tink, tinker with? Yep, spot on. Wow. You were set up, for instance, in fact, our local map pin have offered to host the restart parties as well, which is great. People bring their broken equipment along. You've got to say, for instance, a broken television. It doesn't work because... Often, in like the power supply circuit goes, you have one capacitor go, eight pence, yeah. or 420 for a new one. Yes. Do you know, it's interesting, because things like TVs, and we, I recently took my TV to, to the menders, and you are, so many people just either start again or think, oh, I can't, let's just chuck it out. But if you, do, if you do have somebody like yourself within the community that knows what they're doing, you can save so much money. And it's trying to, I suppose, get also getting away from kind of our throwaway society that seems to be creeping in ever more. Well, it, it certainly is. Um, one of the major retailers build a few months back mm. that they have over 300,000 tonnes of white goods, computers, hi-fi, stuff like that, that end up being put into skips and taken into landfills. And it's, it's just environmentally wrong it's socially and economically wrong and it's not just me by the way i've got lots of people who are volunteering to help oh have you so ah. it's not just it's not although at the moment people have been bringing me stuff and i mend it but i have a background in electronics yes so, but the whole point is that really it, it means we have an impact in many ways actually there's also a metaphor because bring your broken things to church where mend them and that includes hmm. lives but why not your equipment yeah. but the nice thing is it's for me, tied in with, I think, Christian aid, definitely, Christians mm-hmm. Against Poverty, and uh, working with people who are struggling to pay money now. Mm-hmm. If I can work in the area I'm in, the state church, and say to somebody, don't spend money you haven't got on a piece of kit that's broken, forget to replace it, come and let us do that so we save the money, and that leads into credit unions as well, so when we can't mend it, there's a source of safe borrowing so yeah. actually, it's a real socially and environmentally positive thing, and it's a great thing for the church to be doing. It that's where we it. should be. So, what what's sort of been the reaction from your parish? I mean, has the interest? Have people started to come forward in their in their droves? <laughs> well, so far, I've mended four hi fi's and the radio in the last couple of weeks because right. they're all going. Could you do it now? And I'm going. Well, we're going to do the pilot in in March <laughs> and start it for real in April, but. The bottom line is, I'm, as I say, I'm an electronics mm. engineering background anyway, so for me it's fun to do. I'm, yeah. There's not many vicars have got an oscilloscope and a signal generator in their study, I suppose, but... Uh... <laughs> I just love it. It's just like it's a great picture. It's sort of like in one, one side, in my head, and sort of at one side of your church, you've sort of got this little, little like pile of radios and hypers that need your attention, and you have to just put them to one side for a moment while the congregation's in, and then straight afterwards you're back there tinkering away. Well, actually, one side of the church is full of books because we <laughs> collect for book aid. Ah! So, uh, but my study, my study looks like a bomb site Does normally. It? Anyway, it looks like Steptoe's yard, and the response of people around the parish has just been, "Oh, there goes Vic again," because <laughs> I'm, I, I think I'm probably just a little weird. But 
But the trouble is you can take the engineer out of engineering, but you can't take the engineering out of him when you give him a dog collar. So. I love that. And you keep that up. I'm, I think it's a fascinating thing, and I'm sure more of your congregation will be will be getting hold of you and taking <laughs> taking full advantage of your um, your expertise. Vic, thank you so much for talking to us this Thanks morning. Very much. Thank, you. Day, you. thank you. Thank you, and you. Uh, Vic... Reverend Vic uh, Vanderbilt there from St Francis's Layfield in Tamworth. Yep, he'll be taking taking service a little bit later on this morning. But also, got a broken telly, broken radio, take it along. He'll have a look.